one armed taxi mist. Yeah. Oh, hi. Uh, you've caught me in the act of writing my new novel. It takes the form of a letter. It's a love letter, a chunky love letter, but it's also a farewell letter because the man who's writing the letter is having to explain to his loved one why he's had to leave her so suddenly. And to do that, he has to tell her his whole life story. It's called Longhand because um, as a child, the hero's nickname was Longhand, but also because everything I've ever written has started out in Longhand. I write in Longhand and then it gets typed up. But this, this will never get typed up because this is going to be published in longhand, in actual handwriting, which we think um, uh, is unique. Um, so it's a publishing first. And this is the first page as it stands at the moment. No doubt it will get rewritten a few times. So if you're the kind of person who likes italics, then this is the book for you. But never mind the format. What's actually in the story? Well, the man writing this letter is exceptional in many ways. He's lived a long, extremely long life, and he is a very large and very strong Scotsman, and his name is Malcolm Galbraith. Or is it? And Malcolm's life story is truly epic. And it includes uh, comedy, tragedy, mystery, a uh, bit of leprosy, uh, a murder, uh, well, several murders, uh, and one massacre. A great romance, in fact, two great romances, uh, a courtroom drama, a corrupt lawyer, a naughty music teacher, a landslide, and a fire, mm. uh, an insane tyrant, and a sane tyrant, a fight with a lion, and a race with a horse, a talking fish, a fantastically old tree, ritual sacrifices, and absolutely no mention of Brexit whatsoever. So why? Why in this age of global digital instantness have I decided to adopt the writing methods of a ninth century monk? Am I mad? Well, that's, that's quite possible. Uh, but I've had this idea sort of itching away at the back of my brain for about 30 years now. And it just feels like this is the time to write it. Um, a moment in our history when, when perhaps we're waving goodbye to handwriting and to the intimacy of personal letters. So I've started to let Malcolm Galbraith write out his story. It's a big story about a big man uh, with a big life, and it's, it's going to take a lot of patience and, and quite a lot of ink. So um, please pledge money because it will help buy the pens.